we solve problems And you just never solve them Cause you always in drama It's alarming, it's alarming Girl, I just need clarity Can you just let me breathe, though? I don't wanna let you in But it's too late now So it's time for another video on the channel and we've got a stadium tour of the largest stadium in Italy. It's none other than the San Siro, the home of both AC Milan and Inter Milan. And also they've got a capacity of 80,018. That's the most recent that I've looked. Now the last time I knew the stadium was meant to be getting knocked down. Now in all honesty, the stadium is absolutely gorgeous. But let me know in the comments section down below, did that get reversed or is the San Siro still getting knocked down? Because honestly, I don't know. Now today is about learning about both teams as well as the San Siro. And yeah, it's just honestly, it's beautiful. It's something I've wanted to tick off the bucket list for such a long time. And now I'm finally here. It's beautiful. It's absolutely more large in life than what I thought it was going to be anyway. Because you see like photos online, things like that. But no, absolutely massive, the stadium, gigantic. But yeah, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and tap that bell for more notifications as I do upload. And let me know in the comments section down below, where do you want me to go next? But yeah, let's get right in, into the stadium tour. So the first impressions of the San Siro is honestly, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, what I find unique most about this stadium is obviously the fact that it's both home to AC and into Milan, but... The fact of the matter is they've got their own artwork. So if you look, which we'll show on screen for you, you've got the Inter Milan artwork, which in all honesty, it's crazy. It's phenomenal and beautiful. And the same with AC Milan. Now, honestly, it's something that I didn't really expect. And obviously you can see the, I think, it, I'm not sure if they still use that ticket office, but it looks like it's a ticket office anyway with the billboard behind it. And honestly, it's so phenomenal to see just something that's, an old-fashioned ground, and it's something that you you know you want to learn more into. It's something that's intriguing and stuff like that. So, yeah, honestly, first thought, I'm impressed. So let's get ourselves right now into the stadium tour of the San Siro. Thank <laughs> you. 
the Sun Zero. Honestly crazy and baffling to be honest. How model turns into a stadium. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So going from the small model of the Sun Zero, you've got like the life size model really. The bigger version of what the first one really showing you, honestly. So baffling and so crazy to our like stadium go from being built like that. I don't know if it was built obviously it wouldn't have been built before I'd imagine. But it's crazy how you can get like a life size model of the San Siro and that. Honestly it's absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Probably the most most heard words you'll hear today in your say and it being phenomenal. Let's take a little side step over here as well. It's crazy.
there you go as well. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but that is the Silver Cup, which was Everton versus Inter, the European Cup in September 18th, 1963, which meant it was Inter Milan's first match in a European Cup. And of course, it is against Everton of all teams as well, which is quite crazy. <laughs> crazy and madness to learn out that, you know, Inter have maintained the quality and, yeah, the less I want Everton in this state, the better. So now we are at the end of the stadium tour video. I've come out of it, I don't know how to really put it to be honest, I've come out of it a bit gassed but also disappointed like I'm happy but I'm also unhappy and I'll, t I'll give you my reasons why. So I'm happy because obviously San Siro, nostalgia and all that good stuff and y you know how it is, you know how it works and you know it's really good to go to the largest stadium in Italy. However, I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And not just in terms of the ground, because the seats are very old, aren't they? For me, I don't know, I look at it and just go, you know what, the seats kind of need... But then you've got to look at it, and you wouldn't change the stadium for the world. However, at the same time, the one thing I would change is probably the tour guide that we had. And it's no disrespect, by the way. You know, you, pre you appreciate everyone who does the job, and, you know, things like that. And you, you've got to appreciate that, but... For me, there wasn't enough information given and in comparison to both AC and Inter Milan and more to the fact of, it was just more like to go, well, you hear it, like the dressing rooms are there, they got their own separate dressing rooms. And then it was like, so there's AC Milan's dressing room, there's Inter Milan's dressing room. And then it was like, here's where the owners come. And it's, for me, I don't know, I just think that, I'm probably going on a bit of a rant here, but I just feel like, for example, when I went to like Wrexham on the stadium tour at Wrexham at the race course ground or the stadium tour at Goodison Park and there's things like that where you look at it and go you know they're, they're a lot more informative maybe it's because it's because it's both AC and Inter Milan I don't know I honestly don't know but that's the rant over I'm absolutely buzzing apart from that for me I'm going to give you the information now AC Milan and Inter Milan both rent the, the San Siro hence why you don't, you don't see any of them train there. They both got their own separate dressing rooms. So that wasn't just a home and an away one that you just seen, by the way. It was AC Milan's single dressing room and Inter Milan's single dressing room. So, yeah, it's as much to it as, as I'll possibly give you, to be honest. We are here at the largest stadium in Italy. And, yeah, if you do enjoy these type of videos, let me know where this should go next in the comments section down below. And if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And tap that bell for more notifications for as and when to upload. And I shall see you guys on the next one.